welcome to the workshop. The mitre joint is used when we wish to join two pieces of wood together at an angle. The joint line in a mitre joint will bisect the angle at which the pieces are joining each other. Quite often the mitre will be at 90 degrees, for example in a picture frame. However, we can mitre at pretty much any angle we like. The way to set up for a mitre will be to prepare your stock straight and square, keep the face edges either on the outside or the inside but consistent and the face sides on the top. Place your pieces at the angle you require and then clamp them together. With your pieces clamped mark a light line at the intersections. on both pieces of the work. Because we're marking lightly, run a pencil line as well so that you can easily identify where your knife line was. Unclamp the work. Now take a straight edge and knife a line from where your previous marks cut the edges of your boards. Gradually increase the depth. And the same on the other piece of work. Now with your work pieces fixed to the bench, just par out a little notch for your saw. This provides a shoulder against which the blade of your saw can sit so as not to damage the face of the work. Knife a line down the face edge of your board from where your previous knife line cuts it. That's the vertical line we will be sawing to. Now using a bench hook, saw your joint line, making sure to keep perpendicular to the work, following the marked line down the face edge. Your joint should now fit reasonably well. The next stage is to use a plane and shoot these mitre joints for a perfect match. With a shooting board clamped to your bench, use a secondary fence of hardwood adjusted to the correct angle for your mitre.
supported by the shooting boards fence and then clamped at the front edge to your bench. This will support your workpiece at the right angle so that we can shoot the mitre. Be sure to clamp your work in hard with your hand so it doesn't slip down the fence. And advance after each stroke. Do the same on both work pieces until you're getting a continuous shaving across the end grain. Now check to make sure that you've been shooting perpendicular to the end of your work. And here we have. If you're slightly out, you can use the lateral adjuster on the plane just to tilt the iron slightly. You should end up with a lovely tight mitre joint. Because the joint is primarily end grain, it won't be particularly strong. However, if you first size the joint with some glue to soak into the ends, and then glue together for most purposes it should be okay but we can reinforce a mitre joint with various techniques one fairly simple technique is to cut a kerf through the thickness of the material and then insert a thin piece of veneer that just fits that kerf with glue on it. You'll then end up with long grain to long grain attachment and the joint will be a lot stronger. It's also possible on the back side of a joint to cut in a little key into which you can glue a piece of material again giving long grain the long grain surface. We'll do another video showing these techniques. So the mitre joint. Quite an easy one to do I think. To make a basic mitre joint all you need is a marking knife, a clamp and a saw. To make a lovely crisp joint then shoot the ends. I hope you'll give it a go.